Hi, this is Joanne Hewins from lovetocreate.typepad.com. Today I want to show you how to make this snowman card. This is from the Snowman Season stamp set. Let me pull that over real quick. So this is in the holiday catalog and it is part of a bundle with the uh, snowman punch. And we're going to be using both of those in our card today. Uh, this is an easel card, so it actually folds out like this. And when you set it up, this goes inside. It sits like this. Um, and it looks like that on the side. It's kind of hard to show, I guess, on on the camera but it's a cute little card and uh, one that I think people would enjoy getting when it's closed you don't really see this piece and I kind of like that too it just kind of frames everything nicely so let's get started on the card um, we're going to use pool party as our base now uh, this is part of the Let It Snow specialty paper that we have here and here. And it really doesn't list Pool Party as one of the colors, but I just think it really looks pretty. And I didn't want something quite as dark as the uh, Coastal Cabana. So here we go. So this piece is four and a quarter by 11. And you may not be able to see it, but I have score marks at two and three fourths and at five and a half. Now this will be on my blog and I will have uh, the link for that in uh, my video. So uh, that's that and then you have another piece. This is three and a fourth by eight and a half and scored at four and a fourth. And this is gonna be this card right here that's on, the, on there. So um, let's get started with our fold, and we'll, we'll do this part first. Uh, this is going to fold up from the bottom. So this is going to be the top. We're just going to fold it up. I'll use my bone folder, and then we're going to fold it back. So it will look like that. Fold it down, and then you have a mountain fold. So that's that part. And then the other part is just going to be folded in half. Um, yeah. Okay, so we'll come to that in a few minutes. We're going to go back to this part. And to start off with, we are going to be stamping our snowflakes. And we're just going to be stamping them around the outside of this back part here. So let me get that stamp, and we'll be using our Pool Party ink, and let me move that out of the way a little, and we'll just be stamping around the edges because that other card is going to uh, cover up, and I like to kind of rotate the way my stamp is going. I, probably nobody ever notices, but... I just feel like it, it's maybe not the same thing over and over again if you rotate a little. Now I kind of messed up a little right there, so kind of made my stamp skip a little. Oops. I ended up with a little bit of extra space there. I'm not sure what to do with it. I'm going to go ahead and just... Nah, that's not too bad. Okay, so I've got that done. And we can go ahead and glue this piece there. Okay, so I'm going to put glue on the back. I think my glue is getting ready to run out. And I'm just going to kind of center that in the, um, in the card. 
like that. Okay, so now we've got that card, and this will eventually come down over that to, to make the rest of the card. So let's go ahead and do this part down here. Uh, it will go here. This piece from the Let It Snow specialty paper is uh, cut at two and a half by four, and I'm just going to glue that on. And then we want to make our little sign right here. Um, let me move this a little bit and I'll get uh, my real red out. So, so far we've used Pool Party and now real red. And I'm just going to bring in a scrap that I had and we'll stamp the Let It Snow. on the scrap. Oops, not too good. I'm going to move it on over and we'll try it there. There you go. And then uh, we'll do our snowflakes again over that let it snow. I just thought that looked cute on there. So we'll just do Turn that around. So there's our uh, Let It Snow. And this is going to be cut out with these stitched nested labels dies. So here's what they look like. We're going to be using this die from here. And it will just fit through the uh, die cut machine. We'll just center that like that and send it through. But in the interest of time, I've already got one made for us to use. So we'll put this aside for now. And we will bring in our card and attach this. Now, part of the card, the, the part of the card is that this will fit in here and hold the card up. So we want to put dimensionals on this. And pull in some dimensionals here. And we want to put it uh, in the kind of the bottom half of the card of the tag. So I'm going to put it down here. Um, and I actually am going to move, see if I can move that, that one. Because you really, let me get another one. Uh, you really want to make sure that they're kind of even with each other. And it probably would have been better if I had done the straight there, but I guess it's not going to make too much of a difference. Okay. So I'll pull those off. And I want to kind of figure out where it might go. So I think I want it to go about like, about like that. Uh, and I want to look, I'm going to just lay that down briefly right there. And what I want to look at is, is it straight and is it about the same from here to here? So I think I may move that, oops, I, think I may move that over just a little. And I'll put that down and now this will fit in to that. Oops. Well, not wanting to right now, but it should fit in just like that. I may have to fold it a little bit. But it will go like that. Okay. So we'll need to start working on this part of the card. And I think I'm going to work on the inside of this first. So I have a piece of three by four that is going to fit in there. And we'll just do our stamping. So we'll pull in the Merry Christmas stamp and our real red. And 
we'll do that across the top. I think I just put my hands in the ink. All right. And then we are going to bring in our Memento Black ink and ink up this snowman. We'll be using this one. So let me ink this up. And it's going to go right down here in the corner. Oh, yay! I have one pad that's not inked as well as some of the others. I was afraid I had picked that one up. Okay, so now we're going to color in this snowman. I'm going to use my blends. And this is the dark pumpkin pie. And I'm going to pull in and do the nose. And then I have my uh, real red. This is the dark real red. And so we'll do some of the stripes on the hat. The top of the hat. And I'm not really worrying about shading of some of this stuff so much uh, on this. And then we'll color in the stripes on the scarf. Now I am using the uh, small end of the blends. I kind of like that a little bit better than the large part. Now I'm going to pull in a light uh, pool party. And we'll finish coloring in our stripes. Oops, I must have used dark pool party on that. Let me see. I think I have one right here. Hold on just a moment. Yes, let's use the dark pool party on that. And then, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that when I colored this first one, I used the Stephen Wright markers rather than the blends. I later decided I would it'd be easier to do the blends. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of shading with this dark pool party. And I really am going to show you that it's going to look a lot better, I think, with the... Uh, blend on that and I think I may even do just a little right down in there okay so there's the inside of our card and we'll just glue that in I should have gotten I've got another glue I should have ran and gotten it yeah it's doing good you know, you want to get every last drop out. So let me move this one over and we'll put this on the inside here. All right, and all that we'll have left is uh, the front here. So I'm just gonna lay that like that. And we will glue on our designer paper first. Actually, I'm not going to glue that on yet. Uh, let me see if I can pull off some of that. Uh, because I want to put on the snow down here. So let's talk about how we're going to do that. I have a small piece. This was just a scrap that I had, and I cut it to three inches, which is the same across here. And what I'm going to do is just tear a bit of that off. And this will become my snow right here. 
And to get that little bit of poofiness, we're going to bring in the new uh, Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. So I'm going to shake that up. And we're going to, I think I may, I'm just gonna bring in some snail. I think I will just go ahead and take that to the card. It'll give me more to hold on to. And then we're just going to, uh-oh, uh-oh, okay, I used this in a class, and it looks like it has been, shut with a lot of that coming out of it. Uh, probably you should not take your scissors to this. Here it comes. Okay, warning. <laughs> Look at your lid before you close all of this and make sure it's not covered in grunge. You can see I just pulled most of that off of there. And that's why that wouldn't open. Okay, so I'm going to just put some of this. Now it comes out very thin and runny. And then to get it to puff, you have to heat it. So excuse me, I'm going to try to get my lid back on. I still need to play with that a little bit more. So I'm gonna get my heat tool out, excuse the noise, and we will uh, heat that up. Starting to get a little puffy. Now this can scorch just a little, so if you do it real hard or real long, not hard, but real long, it's possible that it could turn on you. I know I had a, uh, we were using this in a class and one of the girls came back and said to me, something has peed in my snow, so you don't want that look. So there's our puff paint. That one puff. Now on this one, I had kind of taken a spoon and spread that out, trying not to use as much, but you can see it looks better when it's puffier. So that's really kind of cute. All right, we're ready to uh, glue this, and I think since I've got the puffs on it, that I'll, I will use glue. And then we'll work on making our snow people. And one of the reasons I like glue is that it gives you a little bit of a time to straighten things out that uh, the snail doesn't always give you. Okay. So now we're going to work on our snow people here. So let me bring in a piece of Whisper White and we will stamp the snowman up. Okay, I did not get one of the stamps. What? Yes, I did. Okay, we're using the same stamp that we used on the inside. Sorry, it's been actually been a little while since I made this card and I don't remember everything about it, but we're gonna cut away the tree and some of that excess on there. 
And then we are also going to stamp this snowman. And we are also going to stamp the hat. I'm going to put it up here. And I might stamp another one. And maybe even another one. Okay. Um, so we're going to color these things with our blends. So I think I'll just start with this one first. And we'll do... Well, actually, I can do them both at the same time. Okay. And then... Um, Now his hat, I see I did in opposite colors from uh, before, uh, the other one, doesn't matter. Or maybe it's just the hat that's opposite, but... Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn this blue around and get the larger end. And just do. A little of that. Probably use the lighter for that. And then let's pull in the red. Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit different color of green than I used on my original. I just didn't feel like that showed up very well, so I'm going to use the Granny Apple Green. Pull back in the pool party. And do that all the way across. And then, instead of the black black, I have the dark smoky slate that I'm going to use for his hat. We'll see which one we like best. This is going to make the, the parts of the hat show up a little better, I think. But then you're used to a black hat, so I guess it's a matter of choice. Okay, I'm going to use my snips to cut out this snowman, and we'll use our punch to cut out this one. Now, the reason that I went ahead and cut that one away is because this punch has little extra things on the side, and I was going to mess this one up if I punched first. So I'm going to punch him out. So there he is. Um, and I tell you what, I'm going to just cut the, uh, the hat out. It does have the punch, but sometimes it's, to me it's easier to cut some stuff. So I'm just going to cut the hat out real quick. And this other snowman. So I've got that and that. And this little snowman is going to have his arms just cut right off.
So we're really not going to let him go armless. We're just going to punch him some little arms out. And we'll do that right now. I'm going to pull in some soft suede. And I'm just going to put my arms in like that. And then I'll do another couple right there. And hopefully I can find my four arms for that. Okay, we are ready to put that on the front of our card now. So I'm going to take just a little glue dot and add this hat to the snowman. And we'll put some dimensionals on the back of him. And we'll put him right in here. And then I'm going to take my glue and just add a very small bit to my hands there. We'll put one there. And one here so he's done and then we'll take this little guy and put some dimensionals on the back of him and he goes here and we will add some glue to these arms. Okay. And this one's going to go, oops, let me turn it over. This one's going to go up here and then down. So you want to cover up where that arm was showing and then uh, I'm just gonna put that one down like that okay so there's the front of that and I think we might be done so this one goes in and looks like this and this one hopefully will do the same there you go Twin cards. So thank you so very much. Um, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and would love to have your business. If you uh, need any supplies or any help or a catalog, if you will comment and let me know, I will be happy to fix you up and help you out. Thank you so much for looking at my video today. Bye-bye.